Hello, lovely ladies. Um, we are at the point where there's a few people asking me how to remove their nails. Um, um, some of you do have this nail file, which is a 10180. So what I want to mention about the grits is the the lower the number, the stronger the grit is. Same with like sanding paper and things. So the 100 you would use on your gel, your natural nail, you would actually just want to use a 180. You'll be able to feel it. Um, so just give it a feel. You'll be able to tell that one is more bumpy than the other. However, I did bring in some that are 80. These ones are going to be tougher and stronger and you should be able to file through the gel much quicker. I also did bring in um, a four-sided buffer as well. So once you, if you feel like removing the color and you're going to get that rough gel until it grows out or comes off naturally, um, you can choose to buff it afterwards. I do as well. I do have these in stock and they are individually wrapped. My other nail file, which you can use if you choose to come um, or have me deliver, I could, could bring these to you as well. Um, when you get a new nail file, you want to what they call um, score the edge or season the edge because this will give you a paper cut if you do not soften this edge. So the nail file and you just want to so it just softened the edges so that when you use, so I'm going to show you how to use these nail files um, to remove your gel nails. You can choose to use clippers. I'm sure it's going to nip the corner and just walk it along and you're going to help guide where that crack is going. So you can see that past where I have my clippers it's already starting to crack and I'm just gonna walk it along. And if it gets to the point where it's getting caught on the inside, because obviously some of us have longer nails than others, when we were going, it might hit that in there. So then you just come over to the other side and do it, okay? So if you choose to use a regular nail file, like the ones that I sent home with some of you, um, if you want to, you can feel free to come and I'll pick up your previously used file. Um, I'm gonna end up throwing them away anyway. I have them and I you might as well use them. So make arrangements. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is again, so once you clip it, you will see where your natural nail is. Obviously, that's the white part there. And then you'll have a buildup of gel here. The thickness here is where that strength is. When I do your gel nails, the strength point is usually built up in this area here. So as that grows out, that is why when I clip this, it's going to be thicker here. Um, this one, yeah, he's got a few millimeters right there as well. Um, if you have longer nails, this is going to be thicker by the time you do it. So I'm going to use the 80 because that's going to cut through this faster. If you choose to file, always probably you're going to want to brace because obviously you're filing back and forth. Be careful not to, <laughs> I was just doing this to myself, be careful not to when you're doing this, rest the nail file on your thumb because that's going to probably cause a nice good burn there too. Again, why I seasoned my file is I probably would have sliced my thumb. So I'm going like this. And I can do it as short as I want to. If you do this like once, once a week, once every two weeks. Um, and then because there's this nail that I just sawed through and he's kind of hanging there funny. If you just kind of bevel the edge is what they call it. When you just kind of go up at an angle like this, and that's going to mostly clear up. You, if you go underneath and just kind of zip your corner a little bit, you're going to soften that edge. So you don't end up with that harsh of a corner and you can just feel it with your other finger. Um, to make sure it's not that that sharp like this right here i can tell is sharp because i just clipped it i did not file it so again i'm just going to pop in here now all of this process can easily be done with your personal file that i keep with, with your name on it in the bag all right so that is how you can just shorten them Depends on how short you want to do. If you don't want to clip it, like I didn't clip this guy here. Again, sorry, middle finger. Um, I didn't clip this guy. Um, I could just like leave it as is and every week I can come along and just like, oh, he's bugging me getting a little long. I can file it um, or every, every two weeks.